Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name's Wendy Wayne. I'm doing your weekly horoscope reading, tuning in to the week's energy, seeing what divine messages of guidance Capricorn needs to hear the most. Cross watchers are welcome. Anybody is welcome who feels drawn to this reading. So this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, Capricorn, in the past we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Looks like in the past you were coming out of a very painful cycle. Um, definitely have betrayal in this. Feels like it took a lot to make you uh, walk away. It's almost like you have such a high tolerance, uh, like pain tolerance. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Ten of swords in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Cups in reverse, and Justice in reverse. Oh my gosh, Capricorn. The pain there there was there was a lack of uh kindness. This is betrayal energy, a lack of stability. No building, a lack of abundance, a lack of love, a lack of soul fulfillment. So unfair. Feels like you tolerated the a very, oh my gosh. Holy cow. There's just, there's, uh, yeah, you can tolerate a lot of imbalance. I think what this, I'm guessing what this taught you was you don't have to. You don't have to tolerate being somewhere where there's a lack of care, a lack of stability, a lack of love and soul fulfillment. <laughs> the final 10, 10 of wands this upright but still this is i i don't know if i've ever had that happen in a reading 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 four tens it was hard to heal from this because there was just so many lies and you the biggest lie was deceiving yourself because uh, you were trying to avoid a tower you were trying to avoid this falling apart, whatever this it feels like a connection. It feels like, I mean, it could be a job. It could be family. It could be a marriage. It could be a relationship, friendship, but it's, it's feels pivotal. It's big. This isn't a small thing. This is something that you tolerated for a long time. Oh. <sighs> All right, Capricorn, moving to present energy, we have seven of pentacles. Now, okay, this is beautiful. So in the past, you it feels like you kept investing in something that wasn't for you. That was, you know, where there was so much betrayal and lies and deceit. And there, you know, I don't need to go over that again, but you stayed in and invested in things that weren't for you, that were, you didn't like. And now it feels like in present energy, we see a shift of that. Now you're focusing on what you do want to grow, what you do want to see um, expand. You're focusing your attention. You might be focusing on your finances at this time, your stability. Yeah, you've had a transformation. This is definitely some phoenix rising from the ashes type of energy. It looks like you still have some mindset that are keeping you, um, that are keeping you a, a, a bit stuck. 
it looks like the the mindset it's feels like guilt or holding on to the past or mad at yourself or mad at someone else a lack of letting go a lack of forgiveness it looks like um all those emotions that you suppressed in the past to stay in this connection all those lies you told yourself to to stay wherever this was um all those emotions are coming up to be felt and um it's a, a process it's part of an ongoing transformation be be gentle with yourself you're not the same person you know more now and so you it's it's really easy to judge past versions of yourself for staying in a situation longer than you should have be, well should have i mean you wouldn't now but it just i feel like there's an accepting of the past that's needing to happen i accept what happened I fully accept that that is what happened. How can I feel the feelings that I repressed and heal those so I don't carry them forward? So I don't become bitter and allow whatever happened in the past to block me from creating what I want for myself in the future. I'm not going to allow, I'm not going to give this person, this situation, my power anymore. I'm taking back my power and I'm going to create what I, what I wanted to in the first place is what I'm getting. All right. So Capricorn messages from your higher self is temperance, balance. Yeah. You're, it's going to take a while. To balance this out to shift your energy be patient with yourself be gentle with yourself this is a huge shift it's it's not going to happen overnight you're needing to heal how you feel about your past people in your past past versions of yourself people who were purposefully hurtful People who said they loved you and or there was care or something. And so there's a, a real anger, justified. But use those emotions to work through. If your intention is to heal and forgive so I can move on. So I don't allow what happened to me in the past to shadow overshadow a possible future there's a healing it looks like you're also it's time to manifest what is it that you do want okay some of you are are manifesting revenge scenarios trying hoping that someone is who who did a lot to you is um unable to move forward has a lack of success and instead focusing on your new beginning let the universe take care of it let trust that karma will work karma works best when you detach and move on Otherwise, you receive the karma as well. All right, Capricorn, your challenge is the tower in reverse. Your challenge is trying to avoid towers. Trying to avoid the expiration of things just because like this wasn't supposed to end. I don't something that is faulty and doesn't work. The foundation is not stable to build on. It, it's like you, um, there's this view that things can't change. We're not allowed to do that. There's some kind of like programming that this is, this is supposed to be forever. 
instead of, well, yeah, uh, supposed to. It, it, let's just deal with the reality. It's just not working. It's not the, you know, maybe in the past that worked, but then going on, there was a time where it was time to end whatever this was. But there's a, it's like you tolerate and tolerate until things get so incredibly painful that you can't. It's hard for you to see the truth. There's a little naivete here. Un unwilling or unable to, to see the truth of things. And it's also difficult to, to strategize and look forward right now. It feels like you're, you're processing and healing. There's no rush. You're an eternal being. You are experiencing a finite experience in this lifetime, but you are an eternal being. You have eternity to learn these lessons. All right, Capricorn, what's hidden is the Three of Cups in reverse. Ooh, this is a gossipy group. Oh, Ooh, there's a lot of um, loose lips. A lot of people feel that they have what that they have authority to to talk about that feels very judgy about some partnership feels like that's what we've been talking about some connection some contract Wow Okay, so it feels like there's people around you or around your partner who um, it's like they, they're so nasty. It's kind of, they're just like judgmental. Mean, mean-spirited, gossipy. It feels like they they had a part in in the um, the lack of happiness. So could this have been like family members, like um, in-laws? If this was a marriage or your partner's friends, it feels like there's people in the environment that made it nearly impossible maybe the person you were connected with is very easily influenced there's someone what's hidden who's very insecure it feels like they're they've got a leadership position but they're not a leader they lead from fear and control i mean this could be the father of a family or a boss this is just someone who they need compliance. They they're tyrant. They're you have to see it's my way or the highway. They're very punishing if you don't. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That 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 didn't help the connection at all. I feel like you have a perspective that this was some type of divine connection. And so it makes it even harder for you to separate from this and, and accept. All right, your opportunity is the Knight of Cups in reverse. You have an opportunity in someone feeling justified, unapologetic, someone saying things that you don't want to hear that are mean like wounding yeah it looks like you're not investing in this energy anymore there's someone just mean mean spirited it, it comes from it stems from um, they're projecting what they can't have about themselves onto you um okay that's a lot 
it looks like you're just getting you're setting really healthy boundaries for yourself maybe even detaching from this energy cutting them out they might perceive you as icy or cold feels like you're you're um you might be ghosting them or stonewalling like you're you're really done yeah <laughs> end of this cycle i'm done with this this is your opportunity at least to end this cycle looks like as soon as you end this cycle you feel much more abundant and loving and nurturing it's like you're nurturing yourself focusing on building what you want i'm even getting like a rebuilding lovely energy lovely energy you're really working on self-love on caring for yourself loving yourself all that that feels like a lot of time that you've gone through without um self-love and requiring uh higher standards from others how they treat you There's something, you, yeah, you're not moving in the same way. You might be shifting jobs or shifting how you earn money. There's something about your finances. You're in this very stable place, but there's something. What is this? Yeah, there's someone. It looks like. It looks like you, by you ending this cycle and going off on your own and exploring self-love, you start attracting some attention from people, but they're not upright. It, these might be suitors, like you're available either or friends or job, job opportunities. These people are not upright. It looks like you need to kind of heal your energy before you rush into something because we've got someone who's just not loyal they they don't move forward they have no plans on growing or expanding or evolving and then there's someone else who's very deceptive and mani mentally manipulative coming forward feels like you're you're focusing on loving yourself and realizing that these energies you don't need these energies. You don't need attention. You need self-love. And they can't match. They can't match that. It's like you've um, raised your standards. Yay you. All right, Capricorn, possible outcome, Seven of Cups. Options. Someone has a lot of options. Trying to figure out the best option. Being treated like an option. What do we need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? Mm. It's hard to move away from people who treat you like an option. So you're finding it hard to, because it feels like you're still working on that self-love that there's something attractive about someone who doesn't who treats you poorly feels like it stems from childhood wound where you know it was hard to get your parents love and affection and so you were constantly chasing after that love and affection determined like I'm going to do it I'm going to get them they're going to finally see and you might have taken that into other interpersonal relationships chasing not feeling like you deserve love and so it's hard for you to end this pattern you're just exhausted um I would be concerned about just looking for a warm body and not believing that you can do it on your own. 
there's something here about just being so exhausted that you'll um, someone can wear you down and they wear you down in a way that you accept their love even if they're um, manipulating you and you don't feel yeah this feels like someone um, manipulating wanting to kind of take advantage of you they're treating you like an option and there's some kind of switch in your head like i could work with this you know instead of waiting for something better it looks like you don't want to take action towards this you're, you know, it feels like you kind of go back and forth. Yep, back and forth. Trying to decide, like, is, am I okay with being treated like an option? It feels like this person's, like, trying to get you to let your guard down. Accept this cup of love. And I feel like eventually you're, you're like, yeah, I think I don't like this. I, I'm gonna pass and then and then this person comes in apologetic with a, a small apology that's not fitting of what they've done I mean it's something yeah and it looks like there's this belief that well now they've apologized they see and so it's working and so it's there's a lack of transformation here, a lack of ending a, a cycle, uh, a mindset that, you know, this is as good as it gets. I don't deserve better. So, all right, Capricorn feels like a very pivotal week. Lots of transformation or possible transformation here. So take care. Bye.